Hello, and welcome to our 2023 Spring 8th grade chorus and band concert. My name is Kayla Peart, and I'm the band director here at Noble High School. Before we begin, we do have a few housekeeping items to go over. Please make sure that anything that makes sound is turned off. Our students are the ones creating the music tonight, and we want to give all of our attention to them. Also, please refrain from talking or whispering while the students are performing. What might seem quiet to you spreads very well in this auditorium. <laughs> By the doors, you will see sets of clink bags. Please feel free to take one or two, fill them with returnables, and bring the full bag back to a Hannaford Clink location. This fundraiser greatly helps us raise money to support the students here in the music program. In your programs, you will see a small piece of paper with an outline of a flower on it. Please feel free to fill them out and place them in the collection baskets at the side of the hall at the end of the concert. We love to hang these notes of encouragement up for our students in our music wing. You will also find information in your program about festivals from this past year and select program notes from pieces. We have also been selling our Noble Music stickers and magnets. Please feel free to visit Dr. Giddings or myself at the end of the concert up here at the front of the stage if you would like to purchase one. The stickers are $2 each and are great for water bottles, notebooks, instrument cases, or anything you put a sticker on. The magnets are $5 each and work wonderful on your fridge or as a car magnetic bumper sticker. If you didn't bring any cash or checks this evening, you can always reach out to either of us and we would be happy to get them for you. All funds benefit the NHS Music Department. Now it is my honor to introduce the eighth grade chorus under the direction of Dr. Christian Giddings.
Thank you so much for being here tonight. We're very excited. Um, this group has been a lot of fun, and one of my favorite things about Noble High School is that we have an 8 through 12 choral program. And though they are technically you know, their own school, they have their own set of teachers, Ms. Peart and I get the joy of having a five-year relationship with students, whereas most high schools don't have that. So these kids have been doing really, really great all year. And we're learning a lot about the word polyphony, which is, if you don't know, it's uh, called many sounds and many noises. So a lot of our pieces have polyphony, which means that we're all moving at different times, independently, all over the place. Um, and we're not really, you don't have anybody else to rely on. So it means that you have to have a high level of musical independence. Now this next piece that we're going to sing for you is Sally Garden, or sorry, is um, Danny Boy, an arrangement of that. So if you don't know me, from the high school concerts in the world, I love curriculum and assessment and all of that other fun stuff. What the high school did, and what I've done in the past with my high school kids to get them to sight read, is have pieces where I teach the whole thing on solfege, specifically as a singer. It's important because um, I want them to learn how to read rhythm independent of text. So as singers, we sing words, and words have their own rhythms to them. And that's a little bit different than the band world. So I find that singers don't learn how to read rhythms quite as well as they know how to read pitches, because they're always relying on how you would speak the text. So I take the text away and have them learn all of the notes and the music. Now, this was an experiment I did with the eighth graders, because I've always done it with the high school folks while on the piece, so I was like, oh, let's give it a shot. So this next piece was taught to them fully without words. I handed them out a piece of music, taught them about solfege, um, sight reading, sight singing, all of that other fun stuff. And then we sight read through all of the parts of this entire piece of music, and it's unaccompanied without the help of a piano, really. They had to go through the whole thing by themselves, and then they put it into true three-part polyphony, which is if you don't know too much about like the common eighth grade world, the fact that you would do an unaccompanied piece at all is sort of not really heard of. It's very hard to do an unaccompanied piece solo because the piano helps out quite a big deal with pitch and all of that other stuff. But just their voices are enough. And you've seen, and I've seen over the course of since we've started this process in January, they come into their own, which is my other favorite part of watching the beginning of eighth grade as the transition from I'm in middle school to I'm about to enter high school. And I feel like this part was awesome to watch them blossom as singers. And I'm very excited. So this next piece that we're going to show you will be unaccompanied. But also, they learned the entire thing on Solfege first, and then we added the words afterwards. So this is Danny Boy, arranged by Topher Keen. Summer's gone and all the roses fall. 
giant school of 1,300 folks and feel like you're ostracized way over to the other end of some um, school and you only ever mingle at lunchtime, maybe sometimes not even then. So one of my goals this year with them in particular was to foster a more community relationship amongst the entire 8 through 12 music department. So I created what we call the music mentors. Um, they are whole notes and half notes, so for fun. Whole notes being the older students that mentor the younger students as four beats, and then the half notes now that are, we're gonna call them dotted half notes now that they're about to graduate, it's gonna be exciting. Um, so what we did is we have um, older high school students that have been kind of like mentoring them, kind of the purpose of like having somebody know who their name is, and like invite them to things and do fun things throughout the year, and we've had like an event here or there, but what we have now is to present um, each of the whole notes wrote a card to their respective half note as like a, yeah, you made it to high school, graduation situation. We won't read them all, but I'm just gonna read the names and then we'll pass out, um, uh, my mentor folks will pass the cards to them and then we have the same ones for the men. Oh yes, and uh, dotted half notes, you can walk down and grab it. Freya. Chloe. Kendra. Jessa. Haley. Jalen. Delaney. Ethan. Abby. Toby. Ariana. Uh, Aubrey, Rain, Julia, Kaden, Connor, Lori, Sorry, right, next up. They'll, they'll read the notes to you, and we have one more piece for you, and this one features several soloists, and if you could, please wait until the end of the song to applaud for all the soloists. I will give you plenty of time. This is uh, Dancing Queen, made famous by ABBA, and thank you so much for coming.
much. If you could uh, entertain us in a small, quick scene change, uh, bear with us, and we'll be right back with the uh, eighth grade band.
production, publishing, and business. In addition to that, he's published over 600 musical works so far in his lifetime. The term repercussions is defined as an effect, influence, or result that is produced by an event or action. Smith used this concept of cause and effect in its creative approach. Rhythmic figures introduced in the winds are echoed in the percussion, and tiffinal snare drums create layers of effect and interest as they interact throughout the piece. Keyboard percussion is featured over mysterious harmonic effects in the center of the piece. 
The driving rhythms and musical interplay in the winds return, leading to a very energetic conclusion. Intense in nature, it is captivating both to listen to and to watch. Enjoy.
I'd like to take this moment to recognize, um, about probably two weeks ago, Dr. Giddings and myself attended um, the Maine All-State Festival at the University of Maine with 11 of our high school students who auditioned and made the festival. While we were there, we were also able to award uh, our principal, A.J. Fort with the 2023 Outstanding Administrator Award given by the MMEA. Um, we have amazing admin here at Noble and at MSADCC. So if you see them, thank them. They are the ones who help support us, get new instruments, including we have a brand new bell kit and a xylophone that we got this year um, to help supplement and to be able to do a piece like we just did that needed multiple kits. So um, their support helps us greatly. So if you are able to and you like what you see us doing or hear what we're doing here, please send an email to them thanking them because um, it's great when we hear your compliments, but it's also nice if they hear it too. Um, yeah. Um, so this semester, we were able to create a music mentor program that's different than the whole note, half note program that Dr. Giddings talked about earlier. Um, I want to spend a second talking about that. Um, we call it the music mentor program, and it is open to students in grades 10 through 12. If they have a tutorial during eighth grade band or eighth grade choir, um, they were eligible to sign up and help with rehearsals. They also receive community service hours for their time. So I wanted to say thank you and have them stand when I read their name to our helpers, Elsa Christensen, Ash Fecto, and Gavin Byrne for all their support this semester. I would also like to acknowledge that we do have three ninth graders performing with the eighth grade band. So I keep saying eighth grade and I keep telling them I'm like, I know you're a ninth grader. Uh, when their schedules were made back in the fall, they had so many conflicts that we were unable to adjust. Instead of taking the year off, these students decided to play with the eighth grade, um, which is hard because all of your peers are older than you, so now you're the leader in the group. Um, but it's been great having them in these sections helping us out. So if they could also stand, thank you to Colin, Felix, and Lauren. <laughs> our students have made this semester on the music we're performing tonight. I gave them a very challenging program this spring and they exceeded my expectations. It is not often you have an entire grade that is so well balanced with their instrumentation and it makes choosing music fun and exciting. So thank you for all of your hard work that you put in this year. As Dr. Giddings mentioned earlier, we started the new mentor program, the Whole Note Half Note program, and I'm excited to congratulate all of you and welcome you all to the High School Symphonic Band at the end of this year as you are soon to be ninth graders. Each of your whole notes have written you a note that the mentors will hand out to you. Please stand as I read your first name and then stay standing and please hold all applause to the end. Um, we will go by sections. So we'll work our way from the back to the front. We never do that. So um, in percussion, we can just wave your hand so the, the audience knows and just look at them. So in our percussion section, section we have Jameson, Jonathan, Ava, Sophia, Wesley, Colin, Andrew, and Scott. In our low brass section on trombone, we have Gavin and Jalen, and on euphonium, we have Will. In our trumpet section, Ethan, Oliver, Justin, Spencer, Dominic, and Ben. In our tenor sax section, section we have Zachary and Kaden. In our alto section, we have Chandler, Tristan, and Zachary. In our clarinet section, we have bass clarinet Maddie and regular clarinet Kendra. And our flutes, Eva, Izzy, Ryan, Madison, and Avery. So we have all of our eight grades. Congratulations, you're on up. <laughs> Thank you. 
while they're handing that out, we want to say thank you all for coming tonight. I know it's very hot out. Of course, we get the heat wave tonight of a concert, but oh well. Um, before our last piece, a few housekeeping and reminders. Please make sure to fill out that flower. So we want to try to see if we can get more flowers than the high school choral concert and high school band concert, which is the eighth grade concert. Um, so fill that out, turn it in, baskets over there, and I think there's one over there. Um, and at the conclusion, if the band students can help just bring back some of the percussion instruments, that helps us out. So our final piece tonight is Chasing Heiress by Zach Karens. He is currently the Associate Professor of Music Theory and Composition at the University of Missouri, St. Louis. We were fortunate to have Dr. Karen Zoom with us a few weeks ago to talk to the students about the piece, his compositional process, and we also learned his favorite Star Wars movie. Chasing Eris draws its inspiration from two sources, the 15th anniversary of the discovery of the dwarf planet Eris in 2005, and the Greek goddess of strife and discord. The piece is dark and energetic in nature and features unexpected chromatic chord progressions, in particular tritone progressions and chromatic mediums. This chromaticism is carefully planned so the burden of learning and playing new notes was distributed throughout the ensemble. Though these chromatic harmonies are themselves largely consonant, they have a discordant flavor when presented in juxtaposition with each other. This discordant flavor is intended to invoke images of great distance and uncertainty often associated with space exploration near the edge of our solar system. So thank you all so much for coming and enjoy Chasing Eris.